do this actual fucking show on the road. Oh, let me snuggle in a bit. Yeah, new new. We might we might need to move the camera a bit on break, but All right. I didn't have a second person to test it with. So, yeah. Hello, let's, internets. Let's remember how to play this game, and more importantly, I guess, than the how to is let's check our romance meter. Uh, Amu Kiki and Draco. We uh, right. Amu Kiki is is uh, this guy. This guy here. All right. Do you remember what his voice is? Because I don't. No, but I. You were voicing him. I know that. Oh, we're gonna nice. we're gonna need to play it by ear. Okay. Um. But yeah, let's interact with everybody in our camp first. Uh. So so Saren, we know Saren is. Uh. For those just joining, welcome to Lauren, oh. uh, Amazon Princess. Uh, um, which, uh, <laughs> cracks beer. It is a game. It is a game in which you interact with things and kill other things. Um, so Saren, our main protagonist, uh, raised as a sexy slave in the Amazon kingdom. Uh, and I believe he says everything. With innuendo. Uh -huh. You said that your yeah. purpose in life was the Ember Blade. Why did you live your life for a weapon? I can't remember this guy's voice. Part of me is like, I want to go to the VOD and look. Because I feel bad. Another part of me is like, I just want to make it up. I thought it was like super earnest. Was it? Like, Ernest, like, serious Ernest, or Ernest, like, Ernest goes to jail Ernest? Like, serious <laughs> Ernest. Like, he was all about the blade. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was just had the, the like, because he was, he's your, he's your stem, right? Yeah. He's just like, the ember blade is not just a weapon. It's a holy relic that turns the wielder into a divine hand of justice. Oh, let's shrink our camera a bit so people can see. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There's a lot of masturbation references going on here. Yeah. To become the voice of the gods is more than enough to devote one's life to. So all those tournaments you've fought and won, you didn't do them for fun, but to become worthy of the sword? So, quick question. Uh, yeah, go on. This... <laughs> Hi, Rich. This <laughs> thing here, it's... Well, it's not torn, because if, if you flap that up, it would go up over his mouth. Right? Like, so like, this, no, this is, like, this is designer. This is... Yeah, like, like... This is distressed chic. Like... And it's lined, too. Like, it's, it's, it looks like a, like a doublet. It could be sheepskin. Mmm. Mm. So that's, could like, be. fluffy on the inside. Yeah. 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 Yes. Not in the beginning, but after my first tournament. The Archwizard told me I had the potential of becoming a beacon for mankind. God, I just remember the Archwizard and his <laughs> fucking name. <laughs> I was honored. Your mistress does not know the gift of being chosen. Saren detected bitterness in his voice. On one hand, it was understandable to be upset that your lifetime goal was usurped by someone who was unfazed by it. But on the other hand, he had no right to think ill of Loren. Except for all the reasons that everyone has a right to think ill of Loren. It doesn't matter in the end. Because the gods have chosen her. And not you. Diplomacy is not my highest skill. Of course not. I'm a chokesman. <laughs> it may have absolutely nothing to do with strength or how many tournaments you've won. I mean... Definitively not, because the Red has not won any tournaments. Yeah, no, we the tried God... that. We fucking died. <laughs> the gods need someone who will do the right thing. And I believe Prince, the princess, we holder of many slaves, murderer of several others, is such a person. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, that... uh, yeah. and he's from the south. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember everybody else. Okay, yeah, all right. Um, it was just this guy, yeah, because he was so he was new, new and, and so kind weird. of bland. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, 
The weird... The thing about this portrait, too... I oh, know. I, what's Elf on the right? I forget his voice. Oh, he, he has an Elvish accent. What's an Elvish accent? Again? You'll find out. Yeah, I know. You when don't you hear remember, Draco. You'll find out. Um, but, like, his portrait is so... Like, like it looks like he's really wide, but not actually that tall. Because he's not that much taller than Draco. Like, the difference in their height is mostly hair. But his neck is thrice as wide as other characters. Yeah. <laughs> like. Oh, and she has the same designer. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I, it's probably, like, high-end. Like, she's a queen, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is probably, like... God, I don't even remember this guy's name. <laughs> All right, let's, let's talk to him. What's, it, what's your name? We barely met you. All right. So, you're an assassin? Almost exclusively! Oh, wait, he's mine, isn't he? Right, because you do the other blonde elf. Right, right, right. Hey, why did you... No, because I do the arch druid. That's, that's the arch druid's voice. <laughs> Oh god, yes. Um, why did you become one? It was how I preferred to make my living. Why does anyone choose any occupation? So, you don't feel remorseful for taking lives? Should I? I was massacring in innocents, yeah? But I, I haunt prey that deserves to be hunted. My brain Ma oh, sorry, massacring. My brain says that's a typo, but my ac my, my actual like English grammar isn't sure. I think that is actually correct. Oh, it's the the verb version of ma of to like to massacre. I massacre, you massacre, I am massacring. Uh, I was a mercenary in the beginning. I found my thrills that way. It gets a bit stagnant after a while. The jobs mostly entailed walking very long distances. That's when I decided uh, decided being an escort was not as much fun as I thought it would be. I am also an escort. So, bounty, hu bounty hunting was? So far, so good. That's, uh, <clears throat> that's, uh, that's a little bit of uh, blacksmithing phlegm coming up. Um, it's a bit more fun when you know you're excellent at it. Oh, shit. Right, yeah. <laughs> Never right-click. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Are we a jokes? You know what? This man, this man needs to be put in his place. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. This he's like, he's like, kill him all. Like nobody sort him out. I don't know what the god situation is here. I don't know. Knock knock. Forceful. <laughs> but knock knock, Ryan. <laughs> but. Knock, knock on me once. Shame on me. It must have taken a lot of training to reach your skill. That was force... What? I've been practicing my shot since I was a babe. And I've given myself plenty of experience. He's the Tiger Woods of pistol crossbow, guys. Chasing those dark elves out of the forest can be easily become a full-time job. Excuse me? <laughs> Racist. That was that is the most polite we've ever fucking been, and that was forceful. <laughs> All right. All right. Dr. Ramus. Yeah. Yeah. How did you get so good with fighting with an axe? I. So I want to be clear. I love everything about Ramus's character design. A hundred percent. Yes. From his ab armor down here to to the weird horns off the shoulder pads to, to the. the Beautiful little bows in his mustache. So like, good. What kind of question is that? All dwarves get good at fighting with something. I got me an axe. I'd like to also point out that that sentence means that this accent is in fact canon. But you're really skilled at it. How did you find time to become an expert if you were busy being a merchant? Well, that's easy. Highwayman. Riding around with a cart full of goods attracts a lot of fighting buddies. At the end of my roots, I'm twice as strong. I'm like a goddamn fucking Pokemon Tyrannosaurus. Huh? 
We but, got there. Let us let us rub our abs together like cicadas. <laughs> you sure have really big muscles. Well, hey, now don't be looking at me with those eyes. I'm off limits here. I'm sweet on someone else. I just don't got room for you in my heart. That's all. No, I I, I understand. I'm sorry. That's. Hey, right, go on now. And stop bugging me. No, I'm disappointed now. No, Loren Loren never had abs. Yeah, Saren has 100 percent of the abs. Um. Uh, let's let's check on hardiness. Did we improve romance in our hardiness there? No, 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 we, no, we, no, no. He is simply not. We don't have an option to romance. Him, All right? right, there are eight people we can romance. He is not one of them. He, well, we know that Loren is. All right, um, and we and we, 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 never we have do so. and we have declined every option to do so. Um, and we know and we tried her mom and she wasn't into us. Yeah. Because because you can romance her mom if you're the girl character, which we'll have to do in like New Game Plus. We're not playing New Game Plus. No, we're God no. No, no. All right. All right. All right. Um, yeah, are you up for some Draco? Yeah, let's do Draco. Right. Draco. Draco, we have a strong love interest. Yes. Right? Nothing's new with me. Oh, we talked to him. Right. At the end of the last game. All right. All right. How about, uh... I don't fucking remember what her name is. Dora! Dora! Right, right. She's Dora, the Dora the Explorer. Yeah. Oh, hi, again. Oh, that was it. Oh, right. we okay. talked. We've talked to her before. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Karen. Karen. Karen is you. That's Karen right. Karen is me, and yes. How did you become queen of the Amazon? What the fuck kind of question is that? I was fucking birthed. Yeah, like, like, I've been hanging out with this princess the whole time, but I don't understand how one becomes queen. Yeah, royalty is really confusing. I mean, it seemed that you having left meant she'd become queen. Um, was your mom kidnapped? Is no, that the but, standard. Oh, ex no, but it, except now, Loren is technically queen of the Amazons. Uh, yeah. Did <laughs> see? My esteemed mother was queen, and I was her chosen kin. Fuck. So, you are a royal family that will continue for generations. Assuming we don't get killed and eaten by trolls, yes. If my blood remains strong and serves the Amazons, it will. But not all queens are chosen by blood. The mother before mine challenged the former queen to battle and won. Thereby gaining the throne. It's generally called a coup, but we've revisited history to make us look more heroic. Also, I the, the mother before mine. Instead of my nana. <laughs> my. So that is what you mean by remaining strong? Being able to... Can anyone challenge the queen? Challenging the throne is not a small task, nor one to take lightly. If you do not win, you die. In before our retainer back at the Amazon Fortress challenges us for the throne in like the end game. Mm -hmm. That could be, could be. <clears throat> and even if you win, your battle must be in honor. Meaning more than just a fair battle, your fight must be just in cause. Again, revisionist history means that everyone that's taken the throne and kept it has had a just cause. Of course. Yeah. You cannot challenge the queen simply because you want the title. I really wish we'd voiced Karen like a pro wrestler or something. Like just every time you talk, she just cuts a promo on you. <laughs> you can't challenge the queen simply because you want the title. It's Cream rises to the top. We'll get there. The mother before mine. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, oh, sorry. We, we picked it. Let's stick with it. <laughs> the mother before mine wished to displace a queen who was seen as weak. The people rejoiced when she was slain. Jesus. 
That's terrifying. And all of the men that she had in her service were turned into slaves. I see. No, they were slaves to start with. <laughs> that is my blood. She gave birth to my mother, and now Lorraine will replace me. Our bloodline will remain strong. Thank you, Rich. <laughs> it's partly, I, I was watching I was watching a podcast, or listening to a podcast about the Survivor Series, and Triple H was there, I guess, at the, the latest Survivor Series in November, and one of, his, one of his wrestling nicknames is The King of Kings. This is like, not just like royalist rhetoric, though, this is like white supremacist royalist rhetoric. Mm. Now, I feel like that's a pretty standard um, rhetoric for inherited thrones mm. the world over. Like, my blood is chosen, it is strong, it is pure, it is special. Mm. It is not like common blood. You cannot simply be king. You must be great to be king. And that is an, an inherent and essential attribute. I really want to have a D&D character that's a monk who goes around teaching peasants kung fu uh, and class struggle. Like, he, he doesn't, like, want to lead a, a, a peasant revolution because he's just like, the re like, this revolution is going to happen inevitably. What I want to do is make sure that they win. <laughs> and how we do that is kung fu. All right. All right. That's, uh, Last and absolutely certainly least, Loren. You had mentioned before that your mother was very private. Were you close to her? Oh, uh, once when we were in the when I was in the womb. It's a very personal question. Uh, yes, mistress. Loren shifted her weight and looked away. She's the queen. She was busy. Of course, she would not have time to confide in me. I am her kin. And so I must taught be, be taught to be strong. Babes who need coddling are weak. She's made me a very strong person, and I have no regrets. Saren couldn't help but catch the glimmer of sadness in Loren's eyes, but she masked it well. <laughs> Sorry, that was for Rich. <clears throat> you did not need a mother as well. Saren had been told that his mother was a respected Amazon scout, but he did not hold any memories of her. Like all male Amazon children, he was raised in servitude rather than as a citizen. And by servitude, we mean slavery. Just to be clear. No, ma'am. And it shows. You're stronger for it. I... <laughs> Saren almost bit his tongue from speaking his mind, but Loren seemed in a tolerant mood. I don't think family ties weaken us, but I wouldn't know because I wasn't allowed to have any. I believe I believe they give us ultimate strength. I believe that you'll find that Pokemon has taught us that ultimate strength comes in fact from friendship. Loren slowly turned to stare him down. She blinked. She doesn't do that very often, so it was worth noting. Yeah. For you, maybe. Not for Amazons. Her body language made it clear that the discussion was over. That's powerfully awkward. I, I hate that woman so much. <laughs> All right. So, so what in the world were we doing? All right. Let's try and find out. Let's maybe go back to camp. We have like, yeah, we have like a journal. Okay. Uh, so we have... Sauzer was, is the, is, is the monk. Right. Kambara is the, the swamp witch. We have... Oh, there's our fucking abs, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I don't fucking know um, what's happening. We, we just... We just finished up at the Citadel. Yeah, if we go... Um, let's go to Grand Tree because we've never been there before. Okay, it's now have we never been to Grand Tree? No, that's where the elves right. live. Yeah, sweet. Oh, random encounter with what? Wow. Well, with Bashonin. Yeah, Sen sorry, Blue Shonen. Senpai has noticed me. Like, are they wearing leather jackets? Are we fighting like three They're dark Fonzes? elves. They're dark. Oh my god. 
<laughs> that dark elf art is. Let us so just let us. Let us just sit and, and wallow in the witch blade for a couple of moments. One day we can issue two different we're arts. A, sen- senpai, we're in a fight. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Alright, <laughs> so... What's... Dora Ray... Right, yeah, because our front... I, cause, right, because we don't put Ramus in a party with Dora because... Ramus needs to have a fucking strong ass talk with HR. Yeah, yeah, no, he's 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 got a thing and he is not managing it responsibly. Um, okay. uh, I guess we kill the front, like the back elf aren't wizards; they're scouts. Um, so I guess we just knock out the front row first, and then yeah, the back row isn't particularly weaker. So All right, let's yeah, just let's give just... her. Uh, oh right, hail of arrows. Uh, yeah. Eh. That's worthwhile. It doesn't. Delay, it's delay not is much. nine. Delay is sixteen. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I guess the 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 damage comparati- comparatively is pretty good. Oh, we missed somebody. Oh, that's an unfortunate. All right, Ray. What's your deal? Oh, you're killing one guy. Headshot. Real good. Oh, and causing some confusion. That seems great. Delay is six. So it seems fine. Uh, Saren, you just hit people. Badly. But you buff, do, do we buff? Does he buff us? Um, no. Neutralize. No, no. he heals. Alright, Loren, Loren does have a buff. That seems like a Yeah, great... that seems great. That seems like a big enough bonus to be worthwhile. Um, um, and you're gonna now he fireballs and kills everybody. What are they weak to? Uh, they are weak, weak to fire. Are they weak to fire? That's weak what that middle bottom one is, right? Oh, dude, I don't know anymore. That's fire. Burning. Burning. Yeah. Earth. Or air. Dark. Burning. Frozen. Yeah. So yeah, they're weak to fire. That means they are going to die now. Um. Oh, not even. Wow, these fights have gotten a lot tougher. But yeah, Fireball 2 is what we want to... Yeah, because Fireball 2 is just going to hit the whole row. Yeah. Try this on for size. Yeah, no, because they're weak to the burning condition. Hmm. That's what I thought. Alright, and, and, and Emo Kiki's our tank. Reducing damage to everyone in the first row of Zalas. Yes. Guys are gonna take a bit. Oh, so he's got just he gets to go again. Uh, yeah, it looks like. All right, well, well, let's actually hit them. I guess. What is that? Got a chance of making them all afraid. Oh, okay. Debuff and yeah. does a little bit of damage. Sure. All right, now they're all afraid. All right, uh, now we shoot them in that guy in the face. Uh, Saren, if you would. Oh, not even. Disappointing. Uh, whatever. We'll hit. We'll kill him with the debuff or the burn, actually. Yes. Yeah, twenty-three yeah. hit points of damage each turn. There we go. Uh, That'll do. Because the. Oh yeah, because he's on fire. Yeah. The burn will kill him. He's feeling it. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, just needs a beating. All right, yay! All right, now the scouts. God, forgot how dynamic and engaging this battle system is. Oh, we do have to think about it. Yeah, that's true. We're, the, the the fights are finally getting hard enough that like, like yeah, we need to consider things. Um. I guess we just fireball them again. Uh, or you could uh, uh, fireball one the guy on the right, because it will do more damage to him and less to his neighbor, but it will still kill his neighbor, right? Yeah. Oh, are they weak? To, they're not weak to. 
Yeah, they're weak to water attacks. Oh, okay. Um. Yay! Yay! Yeah, we're all level six. We're all the same level <laughs> as us, too. Okay. <laughs> they breached the forest as they would normally. Bre breached? Bre yeah. But the elves were highly on edge. Mirth's flower was the only thing to let them pass through unharmed. Saren felt uncomfortable with the tension in the air. Even the trees seemed to have burning eyes that followed him as he walked. It only got worse as they walked into Grand Tree. All of the residents stopped to scowl at the human party members. It wasn't long before the elves began to shout awful things at them. Fulf! Go back to your blood capital! I think that was supposed to be bloody? They were so close. They were close to Mirth's residence when someone shouted a war cry behind them. They turned to see an enraged elf charging Emukiki with a long blade. He j oh my god, he's bigger now! He managed to parry the elf's attack with a loud clank. The other elves watching started hollering indistinguishably, but almost as if they were rooting for Saren's death. It was chaos then. Other elves swarmed the group and they fought back. We're gonna just kill these people? Uh, apparently yes. I feel bad about that. Oh, nobody must be in the party, though, so we could ditch Saren for uh, Karen. Except we misbuilt Karen. Right, we did. Snakes? I, I feel a little bit better about killing pet snakes. Not a lot better. Giant snake at Yeah. Weak, weak to water. Weak to water. We're just gonna blizzard the shit out of these people. Yeah. Um... That so wait wait what is that single damage fifty Yeah it can it can cause confusion. Or we can just do a pile of damage. Yeah, a pile of damage then. I mean confusion uh, is fun. When do they when do they go? spread that out a bit? When does Elf Scout We could can try to confuse an Elf Scout. What does confusion do? Who knows? We don't know. Okay, he's confused. Magic magic value is reduced by twenty five percent, so it has it has really no effect on them. on elves and snakes. All right, great for wizards. All right, so I think that we're a little low on hit points. Uh, who is us? Like specifically us? No, you twenty four. Uh, One twenty is elf gauge is full. Oh yeah, the red line. Right. We just don't have a lot of hit points. All right, we're really just. Killing time until Draco's turn. Actually, can we just kill this back row? Not quite. Right. But we do kill that one of them. Pretty close. But we'll kill one of the snakes and super weaken two of them. Alright. Do you wanna... You wanna shield ball? Yeah. That's just... There we go. I like that Emokiki just gets to go twice, like always. Well, this guy's frozen. Oh, hooray. Sweet. What, why can't I attack? Why can't we attack him? Oh, oh we can't we shield can't wall. We can't, no, we can't double click. Yeah, you can't double click. Because we haven't cause... done anything yet. Yeah. Double click is repeat, not do default. Um. No, let's just yeah, kill him. Dead enemies are better than wounded ones. Oh, our bow still does more damage than our sword. Oh, okay, then... Well, yeah, that's slow bow, though. Yeah, it's the slow bow, but... Um... There we go. Alright. Hit this guy. And then... Now uh, you hit that guy. And then... It's just murder Dora some. Can, yeah, Dora it's just can murder some guy. villagers, right? Like, yeah, that, that seems like a great way to start. No, let's just pull it away. <laughs> yeah, potions. Oh, it resurrects knocked out characters, which is a weird 
thought. Yeah. The elves stop shouting when Saren <laughs> killed the last. When one. we fucking kill them all, yeah, no, that that's usually when the shouting stops. No, you took my brother. You killed him. You murderers. He attacked us first. That didn't stop the mob of elves from grabbing Saren by his hair and yanking him into submission. But we won. The rest of the party members were held at weapon point and escorted deeper into the forest. We did nothing wrong. Free us. They were dragged in front of a familiar tree. How's it familiar? We've never been here. I was just about to ask the same thing, man. Elders, we have criminals for judgment. A group of old elves gave their attention to the group. The crime. Self-defense. A courier. Watch the snow. Lauren, sign. To their relief, Mirth appeared from inside the tree and rushed forward. Please, set this matter straight. These people are not our enemies! Release them! Well, they've murdered one of our own! We were attacked. I was too strong. Yes, that's exactly <clears throat> it. Murderer! No. Ellis, you're not thinking clearly. All you see before you is a human! That's not a person much like you. Now the laws clearly have accommodations for those who act in self-defense. That's not matter now. I revoke my right to pardon them and all of Lorraine's group. So says the forest. I like the idea that Merce accent is just like completely unintelligible. Like it's that version of Scotland. You mean Elfland? Yes. We established last time uh, <laughs> when... Um, Right, right. That we, the, yes, this has nothing to do with Scotland. Any similarities not. is simply imagined. <laughs> all, all the elves murmured unpleasantly, upset with the turn of events. Oh, never once exercise that power in your reign as Elder Druid. Insult us by using it now. I'd rather insult you than take an innocent life. The others silently seethed until they waved for their guards to release Saren. You have your pardon. Take your humans and your enemies. The crowd dispersed, leaving the group alone with mirth by the large tree. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be alive. And did they notice there were two fucking elves with us? One of them, a well-known and trusted mercenary in your army. Yeah. Uh... Loren helps Saren from his bindings. The elders won't listen to reason. I've not but exhausted all of my resources. My magic and every ounce of persuasion of men, they still refuse to believe that the humans did not start this war. They wish to see the human race extinct so badly. I don't really think this is a fair statement given how the Empire has made several actual movements to cleanse the world of the elves. Calm yourselves. Do not forget that our goal is peace between the <clears throat> two races. I apologize. The truth of the matter is that the elders cannot believe that demons would instigate the war. They believe they're not capable of such a plan, and the only time in history they were ever clever enough was under the rule of Foster Logger. Ain't that what the Arch Wizard kept yapping about? Balst has returned and is controlling them again? I've told them <clears throat> the theory that Foster Lager's returned, and they refuse to believe that too. Why the blast not? The manner that Force was originally defeated. Has put he's a has a possessed suit of armor, it's like a like a living trouser. And when he's first defeated in the old war, his armor was entombed and sealed permanently. Is it possible that the seals have failed? I kind of tell. I mean, you could distract it with a big enough bowl. The seals are made by men. Only the gods have perfection in what they do. We need your people to end this war and make a treaty with the Empire. What will it take? The others aren't fools and they'll see reason in time. They're frightened at the moment, so I believe if we show them solid proof that's forced to risen again, 
Or reconsider the war. All we have to do is prove that Foster Logger is alive, without a doubt. For certain vies of alive, I mean, it's basically a set of trousers. No hey, quest. we have a quest. Others. We have direction. <laughs> Hooray. But those guys made sure that one never happened, didn't they? That's why the elders can't believe that he's reincarnated. That's difficult for me to believe too. Didn't we just establish that he never <laughs> right, died? Right. Like, he's, that he was literally just about stuck in a hole? How he defeated Foss back then. I'm pretty sure he said something like that in between all the blathering and accusing me of stuff. <laughs> Draco is the best written character in this game. By far. Yes. A polymus show did say that he brought he down was. that demon once. He may mo know more about proving his existence. But we're never going to find out because that would involve going and talking to him again. Is there any way we can avoid that? <sighs> Shit. Let's go find him then. Alright, do we want to uh, work on uh, our, our side quests? Yeah, that seems wise. Like, that definitely seems like a main quest kind of... <gasps> Mirth is now in our party! Sweet! I feel mirthful. All right, so step one, I want to see what Mirth's effing what? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Remember our <laughs> glorious oh interface. Oh my god, the UI. All right, yeah. What is what's your jam? What's your jam, Mirth? Oh, that's our that's our quest. Oh my god, we do have a quest log. Look at that. <clears throat> All right, so All right. Mirth, your jam. Stinging swarm, air damage, all enemies. All! I like all. It's probably not a lot, but that seems like something to, uh, to focus on. All enemies with water. All enemies with fire. Tangling weeds. It, all enemies with earth and slow. Slow okay. them. That yeah. actually seems pretty decent too. Yeah. Heals three nearby allies. All right, so she's... so she's now the best character in our party. Yeah, like kill everybody, heal allies, and I... she has all the like I guess regular wizard stuff. Yeah, no, no, she's got healer stuff. Yeah, cures an ailment, increases their skill point re... spell or skill point regeneration because we couldn't just decide what they would be called. Um, maximum spell points. Yeah, she's like a like a oh god yeah well. You're out. She's in. Uh, hell's yes. All right, let's talk to her. Oh God. Mirth ran up to Saren. He jumped, a bit startled. I'm so sorry for what happened to you in the forest. Please don't think badly of the elves. This is I... what she sounds like when she's flirting. Yeah, no, hundred <clears throat> percent. It's actually like a very, I have a very specific actor in mind. Did you ever see the rundown? No. Oh, so first off, watch the rundown. It's actually a really good movie. All right. Uh, it has uh, Sean William Scott and uh, uh, The Rock and Christopher Walken is the villain as Rosario Dawson. Uh, and there's this uh, this Scottish dude who like um he played this like 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 Scottish pilot guy um, as this bit character. And then like since then, I swear I've seen him do it in like two other movies. It's just like somebody, some casting director saw him in that movie and was like, "I want him to, I want him to just do that same thing in this movie." It's just that's a time of great loss for my people, and they're stressed over the war, and sometimes there are bad apples on the trees, and it's all right. Well, I'm gonna tell you what about apples. I'm a druid. Eh, the druid blinked a few times, Why still clutching fucking, his hands. What's blinking? Sorry, this is just it's the up. only fucking animation they have. That's what it is. Fair. Yeah, forgive the elves. Please say that you do. I've spoken with the elders, and you can expect new trouble for them. Elf responsible will be. I mean, you you wait, pretty much wait. murdered them anyway. Wait, listen to me. No, no, no. I mean, y you listen to me. I I don't actually stand by. Yeah, of course. Obviously, she's wearing binds. <laughs> <laughs> like. And I have heard the intonation. She's totally into you. Um, 
Yeah, what, what? I'm just waiting for you to finish your sentence. So, no, it's that I argue with your defense of the only animation they have is blinking. Which means it's the only fucking thing they don't need to describe. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> causing, well, he leaned his head down closer to her, causing her to lock up. Pretty sure that's supposed to be look. Nope, nope, lock up. She's, uh... <laughs> that's, that's, that's a sign to back the fuck up. Then. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's, that's the next line. I'm grateful to have someone like you care so much. And I'm going to back off a little bit because I can see that I'm making you a little bit nervous and I really just wanted this to be a close... Mirth blushed and suddenly didn't know what to do with herself. She chose to abruptly hold one of Saren's hands. <laughs> this is exactly how flirting works. <laughs> to anyone... <laughs> no, no, this, this goes... When I heard what had happened, I couldn't contain myself. I've never used my authority with the elders like that before, but I didn't care. Seeing you in beans... <laughs> that was so wrong. <laughs> we just need we just needed her to think about that. Right, we got to get that ellipsis. The, the... But those ellipsis, I think, were really important. That she it was very it was wrong. It was very wrong. I felt wrong about seeing you in those in those ropes on your knees in that position in front of me. Maybe maybe sh is it is it cold out here? Is it warm? I'm gonna I'm gonna go forest a bit. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Rich is now quoting the rundown <laughs> in the chat. Rich, that is my favorite scene. Um, perhaps behind the uh, the Sean William Scott pretends to speech, speak Portuguese scene. But Santa Claus doesn't give any breaks. It's such a good movie. Like, like it's a it's a a, a sort of like smart, funny, buddy action movie that doesn't pretend to be anything that it's not that is beautiful but that it is, is beautiful it thing. is smart in what it is um and the rock is really good is that uh the rock's a cia agent no 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 the rock's just like a like a skip tracer like a bounty hunter or something okay anyway um yeah that's uh yeah no it's let's it's, talk about this excellent piece excellently crafted uh, i know we've just met and you're a human Aren't you? No! I'm a druid! <laughs> These leaves and branches and shit. These aren't clothes. I'm naked. <laughs> it's just natural growth. I can't tell if I, it's, that makes things more or less awkward. Oh, you look human. Mirth tight told her head and... Okay, game devs, I'm gonna level with you. I understand that spell check exists, and you can just like press F. I think it's F seven to check the spelling in your entire document. But it is also important to go through and read it out loud, like we're doing. Yes. Yeah. Proofreading's a thing, um, and the best way to do it is to read it out loud. Uh, especially the, dialogue, but getting even, somebody else to read it out loud is even better. Uh huh. There must be a little bit of the worry you don't know. I'll be afraid to rely on me from time to time. Saren gave her a smile and she awkwardly gave him his hand back, implying that she had somehow removed it. <laughs> she is a druid. I'm a druid. <laughs> I look forward to the budding romance <laughs> with this druid i hate i was you. going to say woman but i don't want to make any assumptions as to her speed like the nature of how her species expresses gender